It's June 12th, 2020, all right? Right here, I'm gonna keep putting up stuff from last year when I was at, on the way to Iowa. Cause you gotta always cherish where you're at, you cherish the situation. Be a professional in Iowa, then go to Green Bay. You know, race to a different standard, do everything you need to. When you believe in yourself, it, it's, it's awesome. You gotta believe in yourself when no one else does. And I always have, always will. Even last year in the snow, still being here in March and April and May, frustrating, losing a lot of stuff in June first, then having stuff change a week later. Um, you know, it would've been nice, like I said before, if people were healthy, if people were healthy, I would've had three or four catches, touchdown, about 50 yards. But it is what it is, do the best you can. You can only hope and just keep working hard, do everything you need to. The hope I had last season, the hope I had, in on June 10th, June 11th, the hope I had to go out there with my, my, my wife's back, my girl, my son, that meant everything to me. I want that hope, I get that hope, and I have that. That hope drives you through a lot of times. And I still have that hope for next season to play at Arizona and at Green Bay again because it means a lot to me when you put this work in, even at my age when you're doing this stuff, you do it, you, you do it better than like a 22, 23 year old. When you're doing that, you do that. Uh, right here I did 20, I mean, uh, 30, 60, 90s, 10, 6, 9, 10, 7, 8, 10, 9, 1, 20, 40, 60, 6, 9, 9, 7, 0, 3, and then 10, 20, 30s, uh, 3, 1, 6, 3, 2, 0, 3, 2, 2. Um, it's hard work every time. All right, that's after sprints, ball drills, chrome drills, 1.0 treadmill, all of those sprints, there's three of them, 10 miles on a bike, uh, upper body, I'm going to do abs right now after this, take care of my son the rest of the day. Um, just... Cherish the opportunity when you're out there. When I was out there last year, like I said before, like I told you, um, you know, guys like Ben Wilkerson, who's a quarterback, got a shot to play, he got hurt. Um, a lot of guys from different parts of the country being there. And it is what it is. You never, you take for granted a lot of stuff in your life. You know, you're not the only one driving 10 hours to go play a game. There's people that drive 20 hours to go out there to play, uh, to be a part of something big. And I'm gonna be a part of something big next season. Uh, the season happens. Everything happens, everything goes out the way it needs to go. Um, you know, healthy, everything happens for next season. I'm gonna do everything I can to inspire, I've been doing it. And, and just to give back to the community, give back to the situation, and be out somewhere again, whether it's Cedar Rapids, whether it's in Texas, whether it's some other team in the league, I'm gonna be out there, all right? And I know my wife uh, to be, I know what it means to me to Arizona Green Bay, my son there to see me play. Because like I said, you never know when your last season is gonna be. It could be your last season, it could be. You know, you never know what it's going to be. So I'm going to play and train every day like it's my last. Just pray to God to stay healthy right now while other things are going on in this world that's terrible, in this country especially. Uh, racism, uh, COVID-19, people have no money to get evicted, all that other stuff. So I'm feeling selfish if I'm sitting here saying, you know, keep that hope that I had last season this year. I have that hope. I have that hope to drive to the and strength. He knows it, all right? But it's not, you know... I'm just gonna stay focused there, stay healthy. My son, my girl, myself be healthy. When I'm training the best, get better every single day to be prepared for this opportunity. And, and it is, that's all you can do, all right? Understand that and know that, but like I said, I'll be hungry, I'll be humble and hungry all the time. And I say it's a promise that I'll be there next season. And it's a promise to my son, to everything. And I'll put everything into this to be out there again, right frame of mind. And, you never know what happens. Champions make adjustments, not excuses. So it is what it is. But any ball that's being thrown my way, I'm catching it in that game. I am catching that football. All right, I don't miss footballs. So one was coming to me at Green Bay, I'd have caught it and did fine with it. Had a return. I mean, they didn't even know the return. But had I known the situation was going to be there, I would have just barged my way in the third and fourth quarter. But it is what it is. You're a team effort and it's a team situation. So played the first half and a kick return in the second half. Playing all four quarters next time. I don't care. I'm playing like it's my last game. Catch every pass. I will be open and doing everything I need to. So let them talk. Let them talk. I'm doing everything I can. But that's why I say promise. And what is time? Hungry and humble. That's why you see that. That's why you see me the cussing. That's why you see the, the fierceness in my voice. You see that. All right. I'm not backing down from. It. Welcome to challenge. And I'll be out there. Season happens. All right. On my son and everything. It's a promise. So is the season happening? I'll be in the frozen field again at Green Bay. Season happened, I'll be in Phoenix against the best of the best. So just got to pray and chance for the opportunity for the coach and general manager out there, whether it's to see the Cedar Rapids, uh, the first and foremost to give me a chance of opportunity, or if it's another situation in that league, another team, uh, whether it's 
And I said, Junior, I'll be ready for it, regardless. No matter what. Right there. June 12, 2020.